When Valley High School students showed up to school Thursday morning, they saw several law enforcement officers and deputies patrolling the campus, the district says, out of an abundance of caution after Wednesday's violence. I was scared. I was crying. Esmeralda Medina says she heard the brawl while reviewing for finals. I was in class and then uh, we just heard screaming, like people were running and screaming, and then we just everybody got scared and we just went under our desks. Administrators put the school in lockdown for 90 minutes and say they notified families immediately. So did the students. So she wasn't aware of what was going on. And she said, Mom, I love you. Esmeralda's mother, Jenny Orozo, says the school didn't say why they went into lockdown. Is this going on? Is that going on? Is there a gun? It's not a gun. They, they don't know. As far as they know, they're just in a lockdown. The school called the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office, which contracts out security for the district. No officers were on campus, though, at the time the fight broke out. It was actually a student who was suspended from a fight either earlier in the week or last week. I had returned to campus, not supposed to be there unauthorized, and sparked this incident. Teachers, staff, and deputies broke up the fight. When it was over, deputies arrested eight students, booked seven of them in juvenile detention, and gave one a ticket and released him to his parents. And that's a big, clear message we did want to send. This is not just a, you know, a suspension or a slap on the wrist. This rose to the level of criminal charges. Serious charges, too, from misdemeanor battery to assault on a teacher and inciting a riot. Rosso says she would have kept her daughters home from school, but they had finals. It is what it is, and we have to send them to school, and it's the worst thing as a father having to say goodbye to my child, knowing that we don't know what's going to happen. In Sacramento, Michelle Bandur, KCRA 3 News.